Well, it's that time of year again, folks. Excuse me? Snows a lot? Can't get out of your driveway? I suggest standing there with a milkshake and see how many boys come to your yard. Everything's fine. If you want to go to work, you got to work for it. Where'd the truck go? Can't reach the middle of the windshield with your thingamajigger? No problem, just grow taller. Oh no, the scraper broke. Your neighbors offer to come by with their backhoe and clear your driveway for you? Do it by hand, be a man. Your shoulders and back should be prepped for this after getting all your hay and your wood for the whole year. Don't wanna do all that kind of hard work? Do what I did, break your back. See what kind of friends you've been keeping. Who shows up? Thanks, friends. Excuse me. You might be thinking, the kids didn't need coats this morning. Why do I need a coat? I'll tell you why. Because you're old. Your arthritis will flare up. Best get a job where it doesn't even matter if you go to work. I suggest becoming self-employed. Pay yourself a lot. Excuse me, Jasper. You're gonna need a pair of good quality winter boots, preferably ones with excellent oh God, grip so that when the cow chases you, you can hold your ground. The key is, if it feels cold, look hot. Nailed it. We have a lot of loved ones who are counting on us. Our responsibility to make sure that we keep everybody warm. Make sure they have a little space that's actually quite lovely to stay and always access to food. Did you bring this poop in? Was it you? Why? How many times do I have to talk to you about this? Thanks. It's a good idea to get your wood done before winter. Excuse me, Jasper. You gotta help out your friends with their little snotsicles and their eyelash sickles. Figure out which ones are the aggressors and don't get in between them. Try to fit 450 bales of hay into a tiny little area. You'll be spending more time outside when the weather's really, really cold versus when it's pleasant. Just checking stuff and making sure everything's okay. So be happy about it. Like seriously, still got some PTSD about the pack rat. Ah! Don't like reaching into small spaces. You know, it may seem like a lot of work, but you know you'll be treating yourself to something super fancy, like a really expensive hydro bill so that your horses can have not frozen water and your pump house can be heated and all the, all the things. Bring!